Kyle Rittenhouse, what was his intention? How what was what was in his brain when he went to that thing? Let's see uh, what the cards tell us. And I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you have some haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Kyle Rittenhouse, yeah, what on earth was in his brain? From the videos, look how confident he was strolling into that place with a gun slung over his shoulder. And for all, I mean, it just looked like he's looking for a problem with his baby face. That can be such an innocent looking thing. I don't know. I'm very prejudiced against this. So let's hope I can wipe that out of my head. I don't know. I heard the mother, his mother, say something like, if he hadn't had that gun, he'd be dead. But guess what? If he hadn't had that gun, he would have had people targeting him for their uh, ire. Okay, he he branded himself. He showed up as a, a, a vigilante, and uh, and then was shocked and scared uh, when he had uh, people uh, uh, confronting him, and then wasn't. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. Wasn't man enough to face them off without cowering behind a semi-automatic type of gun. He's not my guy. So this is the wild unknown tarot by Kim Kranz. And these cards are really nice cards. She's put some very thoughtful messages in this uh, really uh, nice uh, guide box or guidebook uh, or <laughs> packaging that she's included. The guidebook is a really cool quality. The cards are co completely fully depicted here, not in color, but um, you know, there's not much color in the cards anyway. And there's some very thoughtful ideas as to the divination of the cards. So uh, Kim Cranz did a beautiful job with this. Then it's got a, a box within a box. That I like to call the inner sanctum. Another nice message inside this box. And the cards, well, there's a little something lacking in the cards. And I'll tell you what it is, is that the uh, quality of them isn't doesn't make them the easiest cards to use. Um, the cards are thin, um, they don't uh, spread out very well, but the meaning in the cards is unbelievable. And you'll see uh, right here as I put them out for you. All this detail that you see, this is hand drawn. Every single, all of these lines, all of this repetitiveness that you see in here is um, is Kim Cran's work. Uh, her and so it really makes you feel like some a lot of thought a lot of intention went into each and every drawing that you have here and so and like I always say I spread these cards out in the beginning here so that you can kind of get a look at a full deck of cards if you don't collect cards or if you don't see lots of variety of cards all the time and I'm kind of a crazy person that buys a lot of cards um, sadly um, but um, they make for a very nice um, experience when you're doing divination with these cards. Kim Kranz, The Wild and Untarot. Okay, Kyle Rittenhouse, did he go to defend or to be seen? Something doesn't look right in this, these cards. Okay, I'm, I just don't like my cards inverted and uh, so I'm going to fix them. It's going to take us a minute. You'll get to look through the cards uh, a little bit while I do this. But, uh, and like I always say, the reason for this is I don't trust my uh, divination for inverted cards. And so rather than uh, tell you something that I don't have confidence in, I want to make sure the cards are upright so that I can give you in interpretations that I do have confidence in. However, if after going through all this diligence, I do get a card that is inverted, then I know that that card really, really needed to be interpreted that way, and I do my best, okay? And whatever it is that comes out of my mouth, when that happens, that's what I go with. So we're gonna look through these carefully just to make sure that they're all the way I like them. The cards know how I prefer to do this, and I just have to trust that um, this, is, this is just the way I, I operate. 
and I can't uh, be someone that I'm not. So if you have someone uh, that you'd like to watch that is uh, good with inverted cards, and I do myself, as a matter of fact, I'm very impressed with Ellie Dreams Down Under. Uh, she has very consistent interpretations for her cards that, that are inverted, and she embraces that. I wish, I hope I get to that. I'm not there. So back to the question, Kyle Rittenhouse, did he go to that event to defend or to be seen? Did he go to that event to really defend? Is that what was in his heart of hearts? Was he there to defend or was he there just to be seen? I think, well, I've got to, I've got to take a minute and just try to suspend um, that in my mind. Hang on a second. Okay. Did he go there to defend or to be seen? Did he go there to defend or to be seen? Did he go there to defend or to be seen? Kyle Rittenhouse. These cards don't usually spread very well, so I'm going to take my time and try to get a nice, even display. Okay, so six cards right off the top. Kyle Rittenhouse. Did he go to that event to defend or to be seen? To defend or to be seen? Kyle Rittenhouse. First six cards of this Celtic Cross for Kyle Rittenhouse. The signifier card coming right up. Did he go to defend or to be seen? Father of Swords. Okay, this is the King of Swords. The Swords is usually truth, justice, rules, and law. The King of Swords is in, is the fellow who is in charge of his truth, justice, rules, and law. And this is how he wanted to be seen. Okay, interesting. That's Kyle. How he wanted to be seen. The challenge to that then is this <coughs> Daughter of Cups. The daughter in this deck is uh, equivalent to the uh, page in a normal uh, Rider weight deck. Cups or emotion, uh, passion, and I think the challenge to him wanting to be seen as this king of swords is that he was instead the daughter of cups. So yeah. The basis of this reading then is this um, six of wands. Ah, the Six of Wands. Uh, my mind is a blank. I need to pull my cheat sheet out. Uh, I had an interruption, and it made me think of something else. Oh, well, the Six of Wands is... So the base of this run is uh, victory, actually. So the base of this of this reading for Kyle Rittenhouse, were you there to defend or to be seen, is victory. I'm not sure how all this comes together, honestly. The past of this reading is the world. So that's the end... Okay, the world. That's the end of a cycle and definitely for several people and for for whoever Kyle was when he when he started taking those shots and who he is now that's over there's something new that's happening now the sky of this reading is the magician well that's interesting the magician comes at us with all the tools that are, are uh, necessary to uh, to get to the outcome that they have to have so very interesting there the um, likely outcome in the first part of this for Kyle, were you there to defend or to be seen, is the Empress. You know, the Empress brings tells me as a reader to use my intuition, but the Empress brings to the table all the bounty, all the fruitfulness, all the all the mother nature. OK, she brings all the knowledge that, that needs to be there. It's interesting that this Empress is in a dark uh, scenario. She, this this uh, crested moon is in the sky. I'm not sure what this means, honestly. So Kyle Rittenhouse, did he go there to defend or to be seen? The signifier of this is the King of Swords. For me, this has been, this is who he expected to be. But it's challenged by this Princess of Cups, which is like a page of cups, bringing some sort of uh, emotion, a small offering of emotion to the scene. Uh, so wanted to be the King of Swords, but was in fact the Princess of Cups, the Page of Cups. So it can be that there was, you know, there was true feeling in his in his compassion for wanting to be there as some sort of a protector perhaps um, the basis of this reading was this uh, six of wands and you know and that's that's a victory uh, we're not asking if there will be a victory for him in this we're saying how did he come into this he came into this like a victor okay very proud and and showing that armament uh carried uh, with pride into that situation but in the past of this right now we have the world which is the complete end of a cycle which means the beginning of something else so yeah for me whoever he was when when he pulled that first trigger 
That was the end of whoever that was and the beginning of who he is. In the sky, this is the magician. And that tells me that, you know, maybe there are some forces at work here who can absolutely uh, pull this out for him. Um, the question was, did he go there to defend or to be seen? And as a magician, he certainly was seen. I don't know. I just, that's a, a loss for me. And then here, but I mean, my uh, conscious self is just in this. Um, but then the first part of this with this empress is uh, first it tells me to use my intuition. And secondly, it brings all the bounty that the empress brings to the table. Okay. All the knowledge, all the, 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 the smarts that she has, but it's in cloaked in darkness. Interesting. So the last, so I don't have an answer yet, any kind of an answer. The last uh, four cards for this will be the self of that question. Kyle, did you go there to defend or to be seen? Okay. It looks like he had, you know, some compassion uh, on his shoulder with that gun. Um, the self of this question is this two of cups partnerships. My goodness, this doesn't make sense to me. The uh, environment that that's in then is this two of swords making a choice making a decision the hopes and the fears for that then are this nine of cups which is the greedy merchant you know just all these trophies this wishes fulfilled and the sky of that is going to be right here <coughs> this eight of cups which is having to walk away from something that's very emotionally important to you and it's upside down we've got the sun at the bottom we've got the moon at the top you know, guys, I'm not getting a clear interpretation of this, but I know that my conscious self <coughs> is interfering with this. King of Swords, Princess of Cups, challenges that strong King of Swords, this uh, weak offer of emotion. <coughs> the Six of Wands is victory, okay? This Six of Wands is kind of lumped together at the bottom of the page here. It doesn't look like victory, but it's, it's crowned by a rainbow. This world card is the end of a cycle. Magician is having all the tools that you need to get the job done. <coughs> and the Empress, I'm choking up on, on this reading. And the Empress is having uh, all the bounty and the knowledge to, to, to use in this dark night. So for the question, with this Two of Cups, is the lovers finding the right pair to get together? Two of Swords is the environment, having made a choice which way to go. This... Um, Nine of Cups is wishes fulfilled, and this five, six, seven of Cups is having to uh, walk away from something. So I think, to that core question, he came at it with whatever he thought was valuable in a blown-up version. And it looks like his misguided uh, interpretation of who he was and what the situation was is leading to some sort of a, um, a victory for him in the outcome. That's how it looks to me. Was I fair? What do you think? Let me know. Tell me in the comments. Controversial. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.